Hi guys, I'm Anele. I'm one of the adoptees from Destination Varsity. Um, I made this video to help you guys prepare for your NBTs. Before we converse any further, please do visit our YouTube channel, Destination Varsity, our TikTok page, at Destination Varsity. The same applies to Instagram, at Destination Varsity. And if you wish to know more about Destination Varsity, please go online the web and visit www.destinationvarsity.com right please subscribe like comment and follow why because at destination varsity we turn dreams into reality now i'll start by explaining what nbts are these are just assessments for learners or candidates who wish to go to institutions of higher education your nbts consist of maths and mathematics AL, which is academic literacy, and QL, which is your quantitative literacy. But when you're booking your NBTs, they will write academic literacy and quantitative literacy as one, written as AQL. Right? So your MAT test will be based solely on mathematics. And then your AQL test will test your vocabulary and your analytical skills. Before I wrote my NBTs, people scared me. They told me that I was going to fail my NBTs. They know people who got 90s and 100s in high school. But when they wrote their NBTs, they got 30s. Yo, guys, do not let those people scare you. NBTs are not that hard if you prepare for them. I got very good grades for my NBTs, even a proficient for maths. So just relax. You have destination varsity on your side. I know you'll ace those examinations. So booking for your NBTs please visit the NBT page at www.nbt.gct.za. Upon logging on to that page, you should see this when you're booking for your NBTs. Things to note when you're booking for your NBTs, please note the NBT calendar. Check which dates are available for you to write your NBTs. Now you need to match that with your calendar. On which days are you available to write your test and the institutional calendar by that I mean you need to check when are your NBT results due for example if you're applying for an MBCHB degree you need to check by when should you have your NBT results ready for them to process your application right so when you're booking your NBT you need to book for the nearest center or venue if you're in Johannesburg Book for the nearest venue in Johannesburg. If you're in Cape Town, the same applies. If it happens that you do not find a venue when you're booking now, don't panic, relax. It's not the best option, but it also works. So just book to write your NBT online. But if you can find a venue, which I highly recommend, please book the nearest venue to you. So... The NBT minimum requirements for faculty are listed below. So you have your different specializations and the minimum requirements. Please aim above the minimum requirements in order for you to ensure that you do get accepted to the faculty which you want to go to. Now, this slide shows you the interpretation of your NBT results from the basic, which is the lowest level, your intermediate and your proficient. Please do not aim for basic and intermediate. Always aim for proficient because there is a lot of competition. And when the university sends you a letter of acceptance or an email of acceptance, they do consider NBT results. So please aim above the minimum mark in order for you to ensure that you are um, accepted to the university which you want to go to and the faculty as well. So preparing for academic and quantitative literacy, you need to do the following. Please familiarize yourself with reading and actually understanding the texts, right? You will be given distinct paragraphs under one topic. Please familiarize yourself with phrases that are used in texts as they have significant meaning for the texts. You may be given a three paragraph text, which is about drug abuse. 
right then maybe they will take the first second or third paragraph and ask you just to select one word which you think best describes what the paragraph is doing so examples may be it illuminates it entertains it enlightens or it apprises it then becomes your responsibility to choose one word which you think is most correct and i put most in bold because you may find that a paragraph does two of the functions listed here but then now you need to select the one which you think is most correct or applies to that paragraph more than the other for your own safety do look up different purposes of text on the internet and in that process you will be given examples which can enlighten your understanding about the purposes of text and familiarize yourself with grammar related questions those under question three for your english test or exams preparing for maths now people are going to scare you about maths it's not that hard my highest grade for my nbts was maths so i got a proficiency above the minimum one um please know your special angles that is your sine of 60 your cosine of 90 your turn of 45 your turn of 30 you need to know those angles by heart know your trigonometric graphs you don't need to have them in your head as long as you know how to sketch them without any shifts the original graphs you should be fine manipulating the original graphs in order to accommodate the shifts will be easy then then understand your basic euclidean especially your circle geometry this includes your cyclic quads your tangents theorems your center theorems and properties of polygons it's nothing difficult really know your sine cosine and area rules for simple calculations please know these because you may find that you are required in more than four questions to use or apply the sine cosine and area rules so please guys go back to your grade 11 work and revise these you may come across some probability but nothing complex like counting principles which requires you to use factorials just do your probability for grade 11 and understand it you'll be fine financial mathematics usually requires a calculator in order for you to get the entire calculations correct so do not stress yourself about that and also know how to sketch a simple and clear diagram just by reading a problem a mathematical problem write down or denote all of the details you're given in order for you to manipulate the problem and tackle it correctly okay for my information please email us at info at thank you guys